What's up guys, it's iAppleTech and today I'm going over the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012. Now this is part 3 of the series, so if you have not checked out part 1 and part 2, I highly do recommend it. Links in the description will be for other videos that I do not mention. So the first one is called Icon Rotator. Now normally when you do rotate your iPhone into landscape mode, the icons do not follow and move 180 degrees. But a developer named Ryan Petritz, who is very well known, was able to uh, develop this tweak. And when you do rotate your iPhone into landscape mode, the icons do follow in 90 degrees, 180 degrees when your device is upside down, 270 degrees, and 0 or back to 360. So you can go ahead and play around with that. What's nice about it is that the dock icons do rotate as well. And when you go ahead and click on a folder, the icons in the folder do rotate when you do rotate your device. Up next we have the city tweak called I Unlock. Now this does come with a three day free trial so you can go ahead and test it out before you buy it and it allows you to have custom animation and sounds when you do unlock your device. You are able to choose from random or from a assortment of animations. They offer a variety of sounds here that you can uh, preview it before you actually choose it. There's a, just a bunch here. So once you do find your animation sound, you want to go ahead and go into the actual animations. And here, you can either choose the random, which just takes all of them and puts them in a random order, or you can go ahead and choose one. So when you do unlock your device, you can see we have a custom animation here. There's just a bunch here that are playing. And what's nice about this is you can also speed up the animation or slow it down. So right now I am slowing it down to 1.6 seconds and you can see the animation does go a little bit slower when I do uh, unlock my device. We also have swipe gesture animation which allows us to unlock our device using different swipe gestures. So you can see here I can slide up from the lock screen and will allow me to unlock my device rather than the slide to unlock. You can see here I also have uh, from the right top and left so if I want to go ahead and lock it, I can unlock it from the top, or I can go ahead and test out from the left or from the right. The next city of tweak is called Gravity Board. Now, Gravity Board allows you to have your icons uh, without gravity when they are on the lock screen. So you must have an activation method. For right now, I'm doing the hold um, at the top of the status bar. And you have some basic settings here, automatically enable, allow launching of the apps, allow page swipes. So when I go ahead and uh, activate it, you see the icons do not have any gravity. And when I tilt my device and turn it, the icons will move either down or up. I am able to swipe left and right like normally. And you are able to open up applications if you do have that option selected. Now back in the settings here, we can also uh, check out the simulation settings which allow us to move the gravity, the bounciness, and the frictions. So this option right here almost makes it like a popcorn. You can see they're kind of like bouncing up and down. And it's better if you do have less icons such as the second page here because then the uh, applications can really move around. So let me go ahead here and activate it again. And this is the touch and hold which allows me to touch and hold and they do follow. Up next we have the city tweak called Music Gestures. Now this tweak allows you to assign different actions to different gestures for the iOS stock music application. So on the left here we do have the different actions including the swiping up, left, right, down, tapping, and on the right here we have the different gestures including the play slash pause, uh, the next track, the previous track, toggle info, overlay, and it's just an easier way to uh, do these things when you are listening to music. So if I go ahead here and open up my music and I do swipe up from the song it will start playing and if I swipe up again the song will stop playing because I assign that custom gesture to that different action here. So if I go ahead and go back into my settings I will be able to change it and if I want to change it to the next track rather than play slash pause I will be able to swipe up in the music and it will go to the next track. So I go ahead and swipe up here, and since it is the last song, it will come to the uh, end of the song here. But if I go into a different song and swipe up, you will be able to swipe up. 
and you can also swipe left and right which is the default for the iOS music app but you can also assign that using the music gestures actions. Up next we have this Stadia tweak called LS Camera Extender short for Lock Screen Camera Extender and this is two parts in this Cydia tweak. The first part is changing the, the ringer switch mode. Now normally you have the mute when you actually move the hardware button, but when you switch it to the orientation lock and you do switch that button back and forth, you will toggle the lock of your horizontal to vertical on your device. To double check, you can always check the top right hand corner of your screen. Now the second part of this is the ab ability to change the camera icon when you do double tap it on your uh, lock screen. So if I go ahead and double tap my home button you will see I now have the sounds rather than the camera button here. So you're able to turn off the sounds on the sounds. It's nice for if you're in school you don't want your iPhone going off in class or if you're in a meeting. You can also change it to the orientation lock. So we go ahead here and double tap on my device. I will be able to change it. I, I can be able to lock my device or unlock my device orientations lock screen. Up next is a city tweak called low power banner. Now when your device is reaching either 10% or 20%, you will get that annoying pop-up message that usually distracts you when you are in a game, but this tweak puts it into a banner notification. So I'm in Temple Run here, for example. And when my device is at 20%, you'll get the pop-up message that says low battery, 20% of battery remaining. Now my game did pause and I was distracted by the battery uh, percentage notification here. But now if I go ahead and enable this tweak, when I'm in my game and my device is reaching 20%, you will get a little banner at the top just like that that will says low battery but my I am still able to play my device and the game is not paused and it's all thanks to low power banner which is a free city a tweak up next we have the city tweak called iSounds now iSounds is a great way to customize all your sounds on your iOS by um, giving them an overall theme thanks to this city it's week. So once downloaded, go ahead and open it up on your device. And in the actual iSounds, you will not have uh, any themes already since I have already downloaded the Windows XP and the tap bots and the hey. So if you look, we have the top right button called store. Now this is where all the themes are stored. And if you go ahead and click on it, you will be able to choose them. So let's go ahead and click the Windows XP. And since I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and click don't install but for you, you want to go ahead and click OK. Now, once we have it downloaded, we'll be able to have a preview of all the themes on our iOS by just going ahead and clicking on them so you can go ahead and preview them without actually clicking the theme first. So if I go and click the on off as that sound, the action sheet, the alert, you have the reboot button right here. We have opening up folders, airplane mode, that's nothing, sounds, closing out applications. You also have to change the brightness or volume. So if you like that Windows XP theme, you just have to respring your device for the sounds that do take into consideration and if you can listen to the startup when your device is rebooted or resprung you will have the Windows XP uh, theme and you can download many others from that store as well the next city tweak is called Wii Toolbox Pro. Now Wii Toolbox Pro is a notification add-on that embeds itself right into the notification center here and you have some quick icons. Now you must configure in the notifications under the settings and make sure that it is in there for these little icons to appear on your notification center. So you can see here we have the Twitter. If you just go ahead and click on that you'll be able to type out your message. You are able to click on your name if you have multiple accounts you can change it and you can use the hashtags and the ad symbols just normally and then go ahead and click send so just an easier way to access Twitter the second one is the phone which allows us to dial someone or select a contact so here if I go ahead and select the contact I will view my contact list and I can go ahead and make a phone call there or if I do know the person's phone number directly I can go ahead and type in their number 
and then go ahead and click call and it's just a faster way to uh, call someone without actually going into the app now the next one is the flashlight which uses the rear camera flashlight on your back there you can go ahead and click on it it will open up and if you go ahead and click on it again it will turn off the flashlight now the next one is the paste option which does paste your uh, text or picture to pasty.org so if I go ahead and open up a notes here I have the word iApple tech and you must copy your text first for this to work and then if you go ahead and click the paste button it says paste successful the URL has been added to your clipboard and then if I go ahead into my URL browser or if I go in back into the notes I will be able to paste in the pasty.org URL and you can go ahead and show your friends or yourself the text that you have sent or the picture last but not least is the camera button add-on which allows us to easily open up the camera so if you want to take a quick pic of something you can just bring down the notification center and open that up without having to actually go into the app itself so that's a nice added bonus up next we have the city tweak called anti-theft now this tweak will alert you if a thief is trying to steal your device by using a loud beeping noise and the rear camera flashlight on your device so you will have to be using headphones for this to work and you will have to put them into your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top of your device and then go ahead and enable anti thief here then you want to go ahead and open up your music application and start playing a song so right now my song is playing in the background and if I go ahead and lock my device and someone does steal my device and takes out the headphone jack you will hear a high pitch beeping noise and the rear camera flashlight will start flashing or come on to alert you. The last and final tweak of this series will be the animate dock. Now this tweak allows you to animate the apps that are in your dock. So right now I have the music, the message, the safari, and the phone icons down there. So if I go ahead and open up my settings you will see the scale is at 0.6 and that's why on my home screen those icons a little bit smaller because normal is 1.0 so I want to make those a little bit bigger I can go ahead and deselect the 0.6 and if I go ahead and select the 0.8 you will see those are a little bit bigger now you can also have some custom animations here including the horizontal rectangle which kinda pushes them down kinda flattens them out so it's a cool little effect there we also have the rotate left 180 which rotates those bottom icons 180 degrees so they're opposite than the normal ones. We can also change, uh, for instance, here the animation duration. So if I want to go ahead and uh, first off, let's do the zoom out and zoom in. Kind of see how they zoom out and zoom in. You can also take away the app icon labels like I did there. In addition to that, we also have the animation duration. Now here you'll be able to fade them in and out if you go ahead and select your custom time and we have this scale at 0.6 so they get smaller and then they increase to a 0.6 size so it's just a nice little added uh, tweak for your bottom in notifications and this will cost you 99 cents so this has been top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012 part 3 if I did go fast or did not explain them all I will have links into the description which give a nice detailed explanation so like always don't forget to like this video up leave any comments below and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to stay updated